Yo, people, what's going on? I hope the Papa Games here. Damn, I'm thirsty as hell from supper. Hang on. Ah. It's just from all the salt. Hang on, that deer is in the river. He just lost his antlers. Damn, that was magical. What I was going to say though was. Now he has antlers. So, like, supper I made. Jum, like a jumbo liar. Jumbo liar, jumbo. <coughs> and it called for. Kavasa, Kavasa, like damn that shit is salty as hell. Don't judge me, I wanna drown my horse. I'm done horsing around. Actually, tell that there's river currents. <coughs> okay, here, horsey, horsey. want the health. Yes, it's always healthy. Uh. Okay, I guess that's all. Done, I suppose. And I'm just looking. <coughs> inventory. Let's keep an inventory. I can't believe how thirsty ripping DVDs are, like in terms of storage space. Uh, I'm all 
only like eight percent, maybe, way through my family's DVD collection. And holy shit, four terabytes. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Doesn't help I even like do the software, like when I set it up. I pretty much did it for uh, quality. I would want quality over quantity. But I'm going to put all this work and effort into fucking it all. Ripping the DVDs. I might as well enjoy the quality, not just some potato cam. Jailbert, getting used to us yet? Yes, indeed. Your people have been so hospitable, and Ranvi has taught me so much about your tactics, your approach to war. But not so much that you might use it against us. No, and in spite of your invasive introduction to England, you have treated me and my father with kindness. I want this alliance to last, to mean something. I mean that. In truth, I think he does. Good. I'm glad you're fitting in, Chilbert. Good day, Eivor. I did. Put them right over there. Keep them out. We are allied with the Danes of Grandabritshire. Their Jalskun, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. Not everything went as planned. Good people died. We have their oaths, but not their admiration. A pity. We have what we need. I did. Put them right over there. Keep them out of your way when you aren't using them. That is actually a very good idea. So yeah, like honestly though... I would love to finish all this off. A new off. customer. <coughs> Whether I am or not, I'm the one you'll speak with. Ranvi tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? Mm. We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncle yeah. goods and exotic treasures you from all it. corners of the world. A strap on. If you need it, we have it. Have it, you don't need it. So she's our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My child? You look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redder. He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you. Ah, Jesus. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have 1,000 years as well, and word travels fast. No, that makes sense. And what is it I can do for you, you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of... You mean the black market? What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for its immeasurable hospitality. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Ooh. 
120 opal. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Love. Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people. My other eyes. See no. them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. No, oh, Jesus. Okay, it just disappeared. Holy shit. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king. But that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now and broken into many pieces. You mean an instant language must do the same to keep up. An interesting thought. Jailbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. <clears throat> then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. She is quite horny. Ah, she's carrying a horn. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of <coughs> triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this New England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandebridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of- You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sure. I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal. Will not shy from the triumphs I have barely won, Dag. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any one of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn first to Sigurd. No. He returns to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! Oh. And may all of you make enjoy me the that ale as much as Dag shine. Skull! Skull! Skull. <coughs> you think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There is sure. glory in the world to go around for mm. I have no doubt how much I am mm. Just as I thought mm. You are Attackers from the river They look to be Danes Danes Wait, Dane. many? Oh, fuck that Too shit. many Now come The battle roars already Bloody curse mm. What quarrel have Danes with us Those who can fight Take up your weapons All others Stay here With me! <sighs> I thought with a solid state drive, it would load faster. Fire. 
How does that feel to be dead? Ice cold. That's what I call using my head. Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> This vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find an ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived... And hungry for silver. Of you course. Drifted, of course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. You Don't make me cut your goat here. Stretching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us, and the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. May there be one who mourns you at home, for we will not. Nah. Eivor, I could have sent my scouts to follow him home. We might have learned something. The price of such disrespect is death, Renvi. Just as Sigurd would have done. I cannot devise a strategy if my advice is ignored. To let that man live would announce to the world that we are soft and cowardly. Damn why? We were Danes know to fear us. Forgive my haste, Renvi, <coughs> but Dag is right. For once you see clearly, I beg the gods that it continues. We should clean this mess and move the bodies from the camp. Agreed. We talk of our next steps together. Anywho, it's time for me to 